Welcome to the Old Timers Reaction Channel, <laughs> also known as Modern Life for the 70s Mind. Thank you for taking time out of your day to check out my video. I, I've said it before, but I'm still in awe on how many people uh, even bother to listen to what I have to say. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. If you are enjoying my content and you'd like to see a little extra stuff like exclusive content, behind the scenes content or other fun things, please check out either my Patreon page or right here on my YouTube membership page. Both have fairly similar content that you won't see on my normal YouTube channel. It's simple. The, the membership is only one level and it's only five bucks. And the links for both of those are below. So how's everyone doing? I've, I'm having a fun day. Work has finally slowed down just at least for a couple weeks and then it's going to get hectic again. I'm not sure how I'm going to be pulling videos out during our busy season, but I'll do my best. So I had a chance, since I had a little time, I actually played with my 3D printer for something that's not work-related. And I don't know if any of you watched um, Doctor Who back in the 70s. I did. I didn't tell anybody about it, because if you did, you'd be made fun of, because it wasn't a real popular show back then. The Doctor at the time was Tom Baker, and I just thought he was great. I just loved the way he presented it. But on my 3D printer, I made a TARDIS. <laughs> this is the first kind of significant thing I made. And it does have some use. It's kind of a storage thing. The, the top comes off. And uh, you can store stuff in it. I just thought that was kind of fun. So that's my 3D printed TARDIS. If you guys have 3D printers and you have printed some kind of cool stuff, let me know. I'd be interested in uh, hearing about what you're printing. So today I'm going to be reacting to, yes, I will get to the reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to another Norwegian artist, since it's Norway week, uh, by the name of Sissel. I did one other song from hers, and it was called Going Home. A simply beautiful song. I just loved it. The whole song was beautiful. In case you don't know her, she's a crossover soprano. So she's managed to draw significant interest from a fairly wide range of listeners which is always kind of cool she does um have kind of a funky last name and i've written it down here how i think it sounds um i think she only goes by sissel like maybe in america or something i thought i had read something like that because americans can't <laughs> pronounce their last name so i'm gonna take a shot at it i think it's something like and i know i'm gonna be hearing from all you norwegians out here is it Kirkyabo? Oh, tell me I'm close. Kirkyabo? One of those two. I think I'm a little close. Uh, let me know. Uh, rate me from one to five, with five being the best, um, how I did on her last <laughs> name. <laughs> um, Sissel also has, is also a, uh, I think she's a U.S. A US, I don't, a U.S. Grammy winner, and I think she sold over 10 million albums, which is pretty amazing. Today's song I'm going to be reacting to is called Slow Down. And this was re requested by a lot of you for me to react to her. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. So let me get my headphones on. I've already embarrassed myself how to pronounce your last name. But I did show you the TARDIS, so that was good. All right, let me get my headphones on. I'll be right back and we'll get right into it. Hold on. All right, so we are ready to get into this. If this is anything like the last song I heard of hers, we are in for a treat. Um, oh, that was, I'm still shaking my head over that the first song I heard of hers. So this was only the second song that I've heard from her. So uh, I have high expectations. <laughs> so let's get right into it. This is called Slow Down. It's from 2019. And it's the Pioneer Concert with the Tabernacle Choir. So let's see what this is about. Here we go. In the midst of my confusion In the time of desperate need When I'm thinking Intercede. 
Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to pause it because um, I just think it's a good spot. <laughs> How do you describe that? Amazing. I'm going to be completely honest with you here. Full transparency. I normally prefer songs with a little more, I'm not sure what the word would be, oomph to them. But with that said... I seriously have to rethink that. Uh, the combo of her voice and the orchestra, mind-blowing. Um, we haven't heard much from the choir yet. I assume we'll hear more as the song goes on. But I'm telling you, every single word she sings is nothing but sheer perfection. And I don't know another way to put it. As far as beauty goes, and guys, I'm not kidding. This might be the most beautiful song I've ever heard. It's perfect in every way. Oh, this is uh, clearly a religious song. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious, right? Um, but And these lyrics are really incredibly powerful. I think what she's singing is that life can be pretty hectic and sometimes we just need to slow down and let God speak to us and guide us. There's really no need for us to be carrying all that weight by ourselves. I, that's my sermon of the day. <laughs> I assume that's what, I think that's kind of where she's going with the lyrics. So, all right, so let's go ahead and continue with this. This is beautiful. And I don't know another word to describe it other than just beautiful. So here we go. In the time of tribulation When I'm feeling so unsure When things are pressing in about me a gentle voice so still so pure yeah, a lot of emotion there wow look at that oh. this is nuts Spirit of the Lord. 
wonderful. I like how her voice just blended in with the choir. That was, holy cow. No kidding, standing ovation. Beautiful. People appreciate that. Look at that. That was, holy cow. I like the first song she sang. <laughs> I think this blew it out of the water. <laughs> you know, every once in a while I do these reactions, I just get a loss for, a loss for words. That was such a commanding performance. And when I said it was beautiful, it's beautiful. <laughs> she was clearly touched. Look at, I got a little tear going on my eye here. She was clearly touched by the reception she received. That's what really touched me. Um, at the end of the song, you could see her just almost looking surprised that people liked it so much. Um, if there was a point in the song where tears were going to fall and that was it, because I could feel my eyes starting to water up, <laughs> that was it for me. It's so obvious that she deserved every single bit of applause that she received. And it was nice to hear the choir a bit more in the second half, and especially when at the end when her voice kind of almost became one with the choir. I really like that. So then we have the perfect trio. We got the musicians, we got the vocalist, and we got the choir. All in perfect harmony. <laughs> and speaking of the whole group, not just her, this is an extreme level of musical talent all the way around in such a wonderful uh, setting and it's it's an amazing thing to witness isn't it this is one huge talented group of musicians and artists that perform this Sissel she's in another league that's all I can tell you all right let me get my headphones off and I will be back for my final thoughts and just a little hint it's gonna be good <laughs> okay hold on if there was ever a time to go <laughs> this song is it that was oh, i don't know uh earlier i said that i don't normally like songs this slow because this was really slow now that i've heard this uh one i was wrong <laughs> uh, and two the words slow down all but beg for a song to have this tempo and this mood. It's perfect. Do you guys know who wrote this? I've never heard this song before, but I have a feeling this isn't a song that like she just created or something. I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, if you guys have any background on this song, please let me know. The words are beautiful, and I don't know. Would they be as beautiful if somebody else sang it? I don't know, because she's saying it so good. She's sold it. 
Um, <laughs> I can't help but think that there's been a lot of tears shed uh, from a lot of people when listening to this. Plus, the way that Sissel brings these lyrics to life was just something um, to behold. Just amazing. If you wanted to see absolute perfection or hear what absolute perfection sounded like, this was it. Um, it doesn't get any better. She has such a wonderful gift, and it's obvious she's worked very hard to perfect to, to perfect her uh, vocals to the point where they are today. Bottom line, this song felt like a bit of heaven, due in part to her obvious belief, I think, in the words that she was singing. This was an amazing performance, maybe the performance of a lifetime for her. It was that good. And I don't think I'm really overstating that. It was that good. And I can't wait to read your comments on this. Um, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be just amazing to read. So please, guys, if you're going to respond to a song, please respond to this one because I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Okay, that was awesome. So far, uh, Norway Week is doing really well. So, all right, guys, listen, thanks so much for listening. If you liked what you just saw, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you would. And as always, peace out. I will talk to you next time. Okay, bye-bye.